Tales from the Flipside family. Welcome back, finally. Yeah, it's finally I have returned. I know, it's been a while. Sorry, uh, first there was the con, went down to Baltimore, and that's what this is gonna be about. It's gonna be about retailers convention running into the Baltimore Comic Con. What we did there, what we saw there, what we, t what we talked about. Yeah, if you're gonna be a retailer, you should try to make some retailer um, summits. Uh, I mean, a lot of people poo-poo them, but uh, listen, you're gonna get some nice freebies uh, this year. Uh, they didn't announce it, but Frank Miller showed up with uh, Dan Didio and he signed for everybody um, that they had prints from the, the new Ronin 2 book. So that was pretty cool. Got to meet Frank Miller. Uh, didn't get the, a long sit down with him or anything, but you know, a couple of minutes in front of the table, uh, they, they gave us all a little bit of time. Got to hear some nice speeches from some of the companies and where they're going. Big absentees, Image wasn't there. Marvel wasn't there, DC wasn't there. I understand that DC doesn't distribute through um, Diamond anymore, but it is a retailer summit. They, deal, they do still sell to us. I don't know if, you know, maybe they say that they were kept out. I don't know, I don't know. But those were big uh, absentees. Dark Horse sent a video from a very unenthused person about what they're doing this coming year which didn't sit well with me either. Boom, great speech. Uh, I can never remember the guy's name, but most people know who he is, the guy running Boom. Um, you know, kind of gave his background. He had started at Diamond. Uh, that got him his inside uh, of all, I guess, all the people in comics. Uh, and I think, you know, they're doing a pretty good job, at least from a retailer's perspective. Do I buy all their books? No. Do I? buy a good amount of their books? Yes. Do I like the, their business model better than DC? Yes. Better than Marvel? Close. Image is really, you know, they don't do a lot of marketing for a lot of their lower, you know, their lesser books. I shouldn't call them lesser books because they're not lesser. They're just less famous writers and stuff. It just seems that they back the same people all the time. That's who gets all the merchandising, not merchandising, but, um, uh, all the advertising-ish, um, you know, the Instagram posts and stuff. Um, but Image was also not there to tell us where they're going and what's coming up. Um, I was surprised that, um, you know, even somebody wasn't there uh, with everything going on with Spawn and DC and the 30th anniversary and Spawn gonna be on all the books. I thought that that might be a good time to come see the retailers. But it wasn't, but see, this is kind of a thing that like, that's is why you need to go to the Retailer Summit. You need to see who's supporting you so you can support them. Um, I get it, you have to buy what books your customers are buying. That's, that is the easiest thing to do. Somebody comes in, I want this book, you put it on their list, and then, and then you put it on their subscription. But we're talking about beyond your subscriptions what you're gonna bring in, how many more of each issue are you gonna bring in? Um, I found that uh, a lot of independents, uh, if I buy enough extra, they do sell throughout the year because I'm recommending them because they're, they're really good reads. You know, you really have to work that out for yourself. Another thing that uh, during the retailer convention, they have a ton of giveaways. So they also have like, raffles and they had uh, a silent auctions of some really cool stuff you could have got for you know most of it looked like it was going below cost even though it was for um for a good cause it looked like the prices were were very good alliance was there which is i don't know if they're still considered a sister company of diamond they used to be part of diamond they were spun out they're still under the jeppy family business so Alliance is the gaming company. If you're gonna do more than just comics and you're gonna do some gaming, um, they have Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon and uh, all the board games. They have tons of the, all the board game stuff. So you can get it all through them. They just also uh, opened a, uh, I don't know if they purchased, I think they might've purchased this small company or they started it. It's called Iron Guard. 
So Jeppy Family Business is gonna be selling through Alliance and through Diamond their own bags and boards, top loaders, all that stuff. And they're gonna be rolling out more products throughout the year. Uh, they're gonna have the cardboard and all that also. So that was a big uh, news drop is that that's, you're gonna be able to get that right through Diamond. And um, if you buy it through Alliance, you can hit your free ship number and get a lot of that stuff. Cause like, you don't wanna ship a lot of that weight on the prices through Diamond on your on your on what you pay to ship through Diamond. So be smart, make sure you pick out, um, you know, on Alliance uh, and, and do your free shipping amount to get it through there. Another thing is you get to meet some great people. So I wanna shout out um, George from King Comics in Australia. Yeah, he, he made a retailer's conference. There's guys that like were 100 miles away and didn't come. This guy comes all the way from Australia. Um, uh, he watches the show. I really appreciate it. Uh, a guy who's been in the business way longer than me, um, has an amazing collection he was telling me about. And, uh, you know, and, you know, I was learning from him and he tells me he was learning from me. So, man, I really appreciate meeting uh, George. I also met uh, Jennifer, one of the comic book women uh, from G Mart. She works uh, in distribution over there. And uh, we, you know, it's great running talking to people that really love comics because you really got to love comics if you're going to open a comic store. Yeah, it was really great talking comics. And the funny thing is, is that, you know, you start talking a little business and then it really morphs into talking about comics, what comics you love and what comics you were surprised didn't make it and did make it and all this and, and so forth. But you do get to network a lot. So another thing uh, I got to do when, uh, I don't know if, you, if you're if you following me on Instagram, you've seen the picture. I was probably figuring I would buy a long box while I was at, um, at the Baltimore Comic Con once the retailers conference was over. I figured I would pick the 50 cent dollar bins and I usually end up getting a whole long box by the end of, end of the weekend. No, I ended up buying uh, 13. Yeah, so uh, shout out to Comics Logic. Those guys are out of Virginia and uh, they were really cool. They made me a great deal um, and I bought 13 boxes from them. And um, I'm an old, so I can't remember, but uh, one of the young guys that worked for them uh, carried three long boxes at a time up through the elevator, through the front of the convention center, all the way to my van and, and loaded, helped me load it in. So. Uh, I really appreciate that guy too. Ran into a lot of people that uh, I've, I didn't, that I've known through the internet, just through watching them and talking to them on YouTube. Uh, I got to dap up thorough. Um, you know, anybody who watches uh, YouTube videos about the controversy of comics knows thorough. Uh, I respect that guy's game. We don't always see eye to eye on everything, but it's cool because I respect them. Um, I think that he's bringing up a lot of great points. Uh, and it starts conversations, stuff we really need to talk about. I don't really do that stuff on this channel, but on my channel, if you're interested, you can go over to Haven for Heroes on YouTube. You can catch some of my hot takes on that. Oh. Sorry about that. I did not turn off my phone. <laughs> Hopefully we can cut that out. <laughs> you can still get pages of art at a reasonable price from the artists. You have to go to Artist Alley if you want to put some, and I have some on the wall. I got those particularly from, from the artist, Caitlin Yarsky, and uh, the other piece I got off eBay. But I have a few more pieces that I bought, bought at Baltimore Comic Con, uh, Mark Morales and uh, a few others that, um, you know, I have to put up. You know, they're great window dressing. They also, um, you know, can be some profit down in the future. Oh. Isn't that nice? An alarm going off. This is going well. This is going well. But, you know, your downtown city. Uh, oh, finally stopped. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, the um, if you want to get any of this type of art, the place to go is Artist Alley. The artists have it out there. If you go to a dealer, they're probably going to be two to three times what you'd get them from the artist. And it all depends on what you like and what you want to put up in your store. 
you know, you can just put up posters. You don't have to have original artwork on the wall. The other thing is, is that some of the freebies, like everybody has seen this on the top 10, this is not the one per store that Diamond shipped out to everybody. This is the actual from the retailer summit, different cover, like it's selling for like $90. Uh, if you take somebody, you can usually take one or two people with you to a retailer summit. I took a person with me, my wife, she hates these things, but uh, she was good enough to stand in line and get the freebies, so I would have two. Uh, but I think we already sold one to, a, to one of our customers because he's getting two of every of the gargoyles when it's coming out. And, you know, I sold it to him for next to nothing, I'm sure, to, to ensure, you know, it's just goodwill, man. You got it for free if it's a customer that wants it. No other customer wants it. You know, I'm gonna get fair market value for it online, but. There was a lot of other stuff going on. I'm gonna make a whole video about Overstreet Access. And we're gonna go into that. And um, whether you're um, a store or a comic person uh, who just wants to have their inventory, uh, this is maybe the thing for you. Uh, I talked to a lot of bigger shops when we when this was announced, and um, I'm going to go into it more in the uh, next show. Overstreetaccess.com. Uh, it's going to be a inventory management. It's also going to put sellers and buyers together um, over the internet, and they're not going to take anything. And it's free. If you're a retailer, it's going to be a free management piece that's a pre of what the next show is going to be about you know the other good thing about baltimore comic-con is there's no really movie stars there was john leguizamo but he was talking about his comic and a couple other things that he had come out last year um but they did have some big artists and i got to meet them and here's me seeing mike grell for the first time in 40 some odd years and here's uh me with uh frank miller I don't have a picture of it, but I also met Howard Chaikin. Uh, I was having such a great laugh listening to him talk. Uh, and he's really smart, interesting dude that I forgot to get a picture. But if you're gonna go to a Comic-Con on the East Coast, forget New York, I recommend Baltimore Comic-Con. Uh, it's just way more comics. If you have any questions about the Retailer Summit or about the um, Baltimore Comic-Con, Let's get uh, some comments. Let's get some shares. Hey, let's get some subscribes for the Tales from the Flip Side, guys. They're, uh, you know, giving us a platform, uh, letting more people get out to it than my tiny little channel over at Haven for Heroes. Oh, did I mention that again? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Keep reading comics and open a comic shop. There's somebody out there getting their car robbed.